One of the most challenging journeys an animal can undertake is the enduring slog to a whole new habitat migration. We often think about migration as moving from a breeding ground to a non-breeding ground over the seasons, but it can also involve travelling up and down mountains or even moving up a vertical column of water. Thinking of migration, many British people immediately picture the swallow and the way these birds appear and disappear with the seasons. But most people don't realise what a tough journey they make. European swallows spend the winter in warmer climates and for British swallows that means a South Africa. So these little birds, only weighing about 20 grams, have to cross the Sahara to get there. It's a dry, dangerous journey and they need to find an oasis on the way to provide a much needed stopgap. But what can they do when the oasis, which has been left saltier than the sea by evaporation, is poisonous. Well, the resourceful swallows survive by eating flies, whose bodily fluids provide fresher water. It's a clever solution to get them through the incredibly taxing journey. Many migrations are linked to breeding. Young salmon head to the sea for more food and more space to grow, but eventually need to return upstream to the smaller rocky tributaries where they breed. The acrobatic journey can span thousands of kilometres and it's full of dangers. Bears lie in wait for the salmon as they struggle upstream, but the fish make short explorative leaps to check where the bears are waiting before they commit to the big jumps. This preparation and safety in numbers means that hundreds of salmon make it through for every one that gets caught. Monarch butterflies complete an astonishing round trip of up to 8,000 kilometres, flying between northern US and Canada and Mexico in search of warmer temperatures. The epic journey of the monarch butterflies might be the longest recorded two-way migration of any insect, and they've beefed up to manage it. Even though they're the same species as their non-migratory cousins, these migratory monarchs have evolved wings that are about 15% larger. But sadly, the insects who start out on these journeys won't see the end of them. On average, it takes four generations of butterflies to complete the voyage. The red crab lives on Christmas Island, Australia, together with more than 45 million of its friends. For most of the year, they live in deep burrows on the rainforest floor. But when October or November comes around and the monsoon looms, they migrate to the shore. It's a tough trek, risking dehydration, robber crab attacks and angry birds. But making it to shore means success. The larvae will live in the ocean for about one month until they're old enough to scuttle their way back into the forest. Living in the northern regions of North America, Europe, Asia and Greenland, caribou head north as soon as summer approaches to take advantage of the richer food sources there. The female caribou actually set off first, many of them pregnant, and they'll travel up to 600 miles along annual routes and possibly even have their calves on the way if they don't make it in time. Following behind are the males and the calves from the previous year's births, and at the end of their journey, they all spend the summer together, feeding on plants and grasses in such quantity that an adult caribou can eat over five kilograms of food each day. Before we finish, I want to talk about Arctic reindeer, the semi-domesticated and utterly adorable relatives of the caribou. The twist to their migration journey is incredibly dramatic and dangerous. They have to swim a mile and a half over almost freezing water to get there. And for some, it's the first time they've ever been swimming. They're guided along by reindeer herders because even if one young reindeer turns back, the rest could follow, causing a catastrophe for the herd. If you enjoyed this journey through some of my favourite animal migrations, be sure to give us a like and subscribe to Earth Unplugged for more amazing nature facts. I'll see you next time.